So how do we fit our new door in our rental? Don't you love it? I do love it. The existing door frame is squiff. Because every day I get home and the door's not finished. Sunday morning rain is falling. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. So how do we fit our new door in our rental? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna work. So that's how it's gonna be. Closed? Cool. That panel's pretty close to the color of ours, of the rest of the stuff. Nah, it will work. The varnish. And then it will slide open. And then put a lock on there so that it can stay open. And you also have to lock it on the other. You said put like a latch. Mm -hmm. You can just latch it on the other side and side. So you can lock the door. Hmm. What? Too thick. Real thin. So these are designed to be recessed into the wood. We don't have that luxury unless we do a builder. So I think we should screw these. First step was to install the rollers onto the door. Don't you love it? I do love it. I guess it's not straight. You have to cut it at like an angle. Or you lift the frame up at the bottom and make it lean. Then, because at the moment it's not running straight, see? If you pick it up, perfectly fine. If I lift it and it runs skew, as long as I mount the top track skew, it'll be fine. <laughs> We could adjust the angle with that, then just put this track on top of that. What I need to figure out is how much does it need to come up, but... There we go. Oh, no. It means even that little bit's too high. How do you lock it now? Hmm? Build a second frame and then eat it so it slides into the frame. To make sure the door would line up once rolled to the side, we had to grind down some of the door frame. This is where our Dremel tool was the best tool ever. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. So when this closes, there's an overlap. But it's not gonna look that good. As opposed to, and I mean this is an exaggeration of size, but even if the sky is falling down, even if the sky is falling Do you think I should paint this white and then that? No. Do you think I should, this also varnish? Possibly. We then got started on the frame for our top track. David did tell you to build that other door. He, think, he thinks it would have been easier. What door? That fancy door David said you must build for the bathroom. That like collapses in itself and then... No, David's nuts. <laughs> David's nuts. <laughs> See? Like that. And the door opens. Because the existing door was so skew, we had to trial and error ways to make sure our door would run properly. One of them was raising our bottom track. He made a little lip there at the bottom so that it would come up. And then we had to make sure the top track would align perfectly. I was never the one to ride a 
I need to sand a piece off. So see there. So there I need to sand that off. While Ricky is perfecting our top track, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and click on the notification bell to alert you every time we upload a new episode. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It's a free way you can support our channel. No, there's no track of us. Why aren't you putting a track? It just runs on friction. So we're not putting a track up top? No. Do you want to put a track up top? I mean, it would be better. Okay. <laughs> hmm? I thought there was a track because it sounds bad. It's like. <laughs> it's supposed to be. Ch 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 I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Guess I finally learned my lesson. We honestly thought this would be a quick job, but what a surprise it wasn't. Can boat work ever just be quick and simple? And? Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not great, but not, not bad. I think what we should do is use it like it's for one or two days. Do you want to do the flush piece or you want to sand it? <laughs> Probably flush piece instead of sanding. You're not going to get it straight with the sand. Surprising, the new panel we put up is perfectly straight. The existing door frame is squiff. We need to get some wood filler, sand this edge here, take that sharp edge. So you're going to go to Builders quick? When? To get that piece of wood. Public holiday, man. Well, this will be open. No ways. Instead of using the plastic stopper that came with the tracks, we opted to sturdy up our door a bit more by framing it and having the frame opt as the stopper as well. Where's those clamps that we had? In the box. In the back why? Can you get me the can glue this one? Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you you're making me wanna try forever. I feel so free. So what do we need to get tomorrow? Well, what do we still need to do first? Get it that that trim thingy that you want to put there. Yeah, the front edge trim. Okay. And then put a lip on here that comes over here. I see the way we need to find out the lip. Mm -hmm. Okay, that and then what else? And then we need to glue this because we haven't glued it. We just screwed it. What do you want to glue it with? Just the wood glue. So why don't we glue it? Because we've got to wait till this door to set up now. Okay, so glue that and then? Put a handle. And a latch. And a latch. Done. Not too shabby, babes. I like it. I, I was know. not in the mood for this door though. But it's done. Partially. Partially. A few little cosmetic. It's as light as we could build it, I suppose. Do you think this was easier than doing that aluminium strips that we wanted to do? Oh, yes. <laughs> that would have been a lot more work. I like our door though. I think it looks good. Once it's varnished and it matches that, it's going to look really good. Yeah. Cool. I don't know why we didn't do this from the beginning. 
That's all because I don't want to put this door up because I thought it was going to be too heavy. Well, remember the doors we made? Oh, they were, they were For the heavy. rooms. We made doors for the rooms and they were freaking heavy. And we were trying to make them well, as light as possible. Freaking heavy relative to fiberglass stuff. But relative to wood, it was lighter than wood. No, it was. But like, it was still... I mean, our roll down here works perfect. <sighs> we're perfect. The roll down just didn't work here because the framing and everything and you couldn't, yeah, it just didn't work. Yep, mm. it didn't work. But this is going to work nicely and then you can go to the loo and shower with privacy. Well, not that me and Ricky worry about the door, but when you have guests. Guests like having the door. They don't like us seeing them naked. <laughs> And then we had to cut a lip for our door to compensate for the skewness of the previous door. Life is funny and sometimes strange. It still turns out the way you think. But if you want some good advice, I can offer this small wink. You find that. Everything had been measured to perfection, so we could glue everything together. Ricky's busy doing a battery installation on another boat, so I'm going to try to finish up this door. Um, obviously there's a few things I'm going to need his help with, but other than that I'm pretty sure I could do it by myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm just moving the glue, the wood glue that peeked through. So this thing's pretty much glued in and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the track on and then also and I'm just also going to screw the thing back in. I'm away from the boat this week and possibly summer next week. We're pretty much rewiring this entire ELAN, it's ELAN 44. We're going to put lithiums in, uh, new inverter, new chargers, new alternator, performance Belmont alternator and whole bunch of DC to DC converters with FET isolators and big buzz bars it's a pretty big system comprehensive bringing in some new switching panels from the states so we can get that in and it's gonna be pretty badass this owner is gonna be able to have everything running on his boat he's gonna really enjoy it and that's what he wants he wants to go world cruising and he's gonna have luxuries with it we are even gonna wire up the lithiums to run the new aircon system that's coming so it's going to be aircon via lithium so it's going to be a cool system and new solar for him so it's huge very awesome system now back to Simone so she can get that door done because every day I get home and the door's not finished just kidding huh? while Ricky was away I got down to gluing our track onto the frame and while that cured I practiced some ukulele Sunday morning rain is falling. Kiss it on me. Steal some color, share some skin. Clouds are shrouding us in moments. Everything had cured and we screwed it in. Last but not least was the lip that needed to be glued in as well. But things just get so crazy living life. It gets hard to do. Now we're glad. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I got down to adding wood filler to all the screw holes. The next day the wood filler had cured so it was down to sanding it down and then adding our first coat of varnish. I put on the first coat, um, it's going to dry up a bit and then once it's done I'll give it a light sanding and then add the second coat, wait for that to cure sand it down a little bit very lightly 
third coat, light sand, fourth coat. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna see how it goes, but I'm probably gonna have to put about four coats on, um, maybe five. We'll have to see how it, the, it goes. And this wood seems to be absorbing the varnish very quickly, so I'll probably have to put a few more coats in. I anticipate it, but that's okay. Um, I'm pretty chuffed with that door, I think it looks good. I completely forgot to film the sanding, but I added a second coat of varnish. In darkness, she is all I see. Come arrest your bones Three more coats of varnish, and our door will be complete. I think I've got varnish in my hair. I feel it. <laughs> I've done another coat, but I probably will have to do a couple, like I said previously. But that's for another day. This needs to cure, and then I can carry on tomorrow. But we're super excited. We're going to a friend's farm, and uh, we're gonna be spending the week in there. A good change of scenery for us, because we've been going a little bit stir crazy here on the boat so we're excited and we'll take you along with us on our road trip and take us with you for our weekend away don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up it's a free way you can support our channel if you'd like to join our lady africa family you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below have an awesome weekend guys and keep safe toodles